So how about this Raiders defense? It's looked good through two weeks. And, you know, I think we all kind of figured this would be a an issue with the Raiders heading into this season. And it's only been two weeks, so there is a small sample size. But, you know, I projected them to be the 22nd best defense in my preseason grades. I certainly feel a lot stronger about them now. And a big part of it is because kind of two corners have really emerged to surprisingly play very well for the Raiders. And, you know, that's a big part of what I value about football is cornerbacks. And I think part of why these edge rushers also are looking better than they have in years past is because now quarterbacks don't have, you know, guys open immediately. They have to try and bide more time and then the pass rush has time to get there. And also, of course, adding Unique and Gakwe helps in that regard. But the two players I'm mostly talking about are Casey Hayward, who kind of had a rough last season with the Chargers. So I kind of figured, okay, maybe there'll be something there, but I don't know. Uh, and then he's come along and played well through two games. And then Nate Hobbs, who I've just been blown away by. He was a sixth round pick. Uh, that's played very well for the Raiders. So let's get into the film study and sort of talk about the main thing I want to talk about is coverage in this video, because that's to me the notable thing. Uh, the past few years, their coverage has been abysmal. And now that it's looking good, to me, that's the more interesting thing to talk about with the Raiders. So like starting off with this play, this is a classic example of what would just completely destroy La uh, Las Vegas last year with the Paul Gunther defense. Because again, the defensive coordinator shift has clearly made a huge difference. They now have Gus Bradley, who I'm, I'm not sure I'm willing to call him a god necessarily, but it's certainly a huge upgrade from Gunther. Uh, and he clearly has a plan and gets these guys in position, which is, I mean, that's what your job is, is to do as a defensive coordinator. Uh, anyways, this is a cover three zone right here. And the way this play works is your number one receiver to the offense's right is going to just run a go route. And his job is to push the cornerback in that area further deep. You then have another receiver who's going to kind of just, uh, you know, start off as though he's going towards the flat in that area, but then he runs deep. So the idea is that Casey Hayward, who is the deep corner on this play, he then runs further deep covering the go route. You have another route that's open, uh, and unless someone can adjust and notice this, this is a good concept that can work. So right when this play starts, you notice that. So Hayward is, you know, getting uh, taken away a little bit on this deep route. Uh, I'll give credit to, uh, I believe it's Imik, A-M-I-K Robertson. Uh, he's the guy who I have in the yellow circle. He's reading this play pretty well, trying to get into the play, which is, again, uh, last year for the Raiders, there would just be a wide open guy right here. So already doing good. But also watch Casey Hayward and, you know, again, he's a veteran. He's seen a lot of stuff. Watch what he's going to do. He reads the play, gets back over, and not only knocks it away, nearly had a pick right there. That's just an incredible play. And that's something that the Raiders did not have last year. So I I like the move to get, get Casey Hayward. I thought, okay, get a veteran in the locker room, sort of help out these young guys. That's kind of my mindset. And hopefully he can contribute. I mean, he's currently pro football focuses number one graded cornerback. So that's crazy in its own right. So again, that's part of, part of why I think that this Raiders defense has surprised people. It's, well, they've had two key players come in and really play well. Now, we can talk about a play like this as well, because Trayvon Mullen also deserves some credit. Now, he's not a star necessarily, but uh, he's played well in his own right, and he's probably shown that he's at least a, like a solid number two corner, maybe even a good number two corner. So again, when you compare that with really, I mean, the Raiders kind of have Again, it's is it too early to, you know, crown Nate Hobbs or to say Casey Hayward is all the way back? Probably, yeah. But still, you got three of these guys. So that's what gives you a lot more hope. And one thing I like, again, this is an, another coaching thing on this play. So it's going to be a cover three zone. And you see the route. It's, it's a go route in Mullen's direction. And one thing that I think that we're seeing the Raiders do a little bit more, although I also think that there's a way maybe you can counteract this, and I'm interested in seeing what people, what the Raiders do once teams kind of have a better game plan against this defense, because the Steelers' game plan, it wasn't good. That has to be mentioned. It wasn't a great game plan. But still, uh, so watch what's going to happen on this play. So look, I mean, I would say the linebackers are a little bit quick, uh, slow in getting back, which means that... If this was kind of a route over the middle or maybe even just a curl route, it could have potentially gotten open. Mullen is actually playing this what you're supposed to do by staying a little bit further deep because you don't want to get burned deep. That's your job on this play. And, you know, over the middle, there's help there. So even if you do try to, you know, run some curls, run some stuff over the middle, it's not a guarantee it's going to work. Although that is the one aspect 
of the Raiders defense. I still want to see a little bit more. But anyways, watch how Mullen is going to finish on this play. He is able to hang with Claypool, and he's going to go up and knock the ball away. A uh, very good play from Trayvon Mullen. Did exactly what you want to have happen there. So again, that's a good example, I think, of both a good play from Mullen and also maybe the one concern I have about this Raiders defense because it is a small sample size. It's not to say that I think that they will fail in that aspect. I just, I, I do want to see it, is what I would say. That part isn't necessarily a negative. It's just a bit of an unknown. All right, now let's talk a little bit about Damon Arnett. I kind of mentioned that last week, I think part of why the Raiders defense looked so much better is there was no Damon Arnett in there. He only took one snap. He took a little bit more snaps in this game, did have a nice pass breakup, but that was it, uh, and he definitely looked a little ugly at times, although I would say we still see the aspect of coaching kind of come in here, where one of the issues with Arnett last year was he basically, in cover two zone, he would kind of like pass the receiver off like three yards into the play when you're supposed to cover up to 15 yards into the play. I mean, go back and watch that Ryan Fitzpatrick where he was getting, you know, face mask and still made that throw where I know a lot of Raiders fans don't want to go back and watch that play. Uh, but if you do, you'll notice Damon Arnett basically immediately passed off a receiver in a situation where that's just not what you should do. And I, I got frustrated with Paul Gunther because he had this problem all year and nobody said anything, it seems like, because he kept having the same problem. Well, already in the little time we've seen, he has improved on that problem, even if it's not exactly working out. So like on this play, it's a perfect example of one where he'd probably pass off this receiver and he would just get wide open into that gap in coverage. However, watch him bail right here and does a good job of, you know, putting himself in a situation where he can uh, succeed. He actually went a little bit too far though this time. So he's kind of figuring this stuff out a little bit because again, at, at a certain point, the safety can come in and make a play. And I think one of the issues just with Arnett is, I mean, he's not the fastest corner. And this is why I, I harp on speed so much, because if you don't give this space, it's possible you could get burned deep, which just makes things difficult as a corner. And so Big Ben is able to make a relatively easy throw on that one. So for me, I mean, the unfortunate part with Arnett, and I kind of wanted to talk about him while I'm talking about the Raiders corners, because that's the interesting thing for me, uh, is... Uh, yeah, I, I kind of do feel like for Damon Arnett, the reality is he's their fourth best corner. Uh, that's just the reality of the situation. It's not to say that I've given up on him necessarily, but I don't really want to see him have playing time when you're a team that has, uh, you know, playoff aspirations and you have three corners who are outperforming him right now. Really, he should only be on the field when he has to be, in my opinion. I think maybe he could play nickel. I'd be interested in seeing how he does there. But just on the outside, he's just not that great at it. Although, again, we're seeing some improvements with better coaching, so that's nice to see. And again, a little thing like this is just, this is just something that wasn't there last year. So this is going to actually be a linebacker play. Not just that, but a Corey Littleton play where, again, we just saw some, so just linebackers didn't know what to do. They didn't know where to go at any point. We're now just seeing guys, there's a plan, It basically what I mean. When you see concepts the Raiders have a plan to counteract it. Last year, it's like, oh, you had a good concept against cover two? Well, that sucks for us. Oh, well, like nothing we can do about it. No, there is, and this is what you can do about it. It's a uh, cover two zone, and you have the number two receiver on Big Ben's left running a go route, which is going to not just push the safety further deep, but also push the corner, Trayvon Mullen, further deep, which now means that the kind of the, the check down route a little bit over could potentially get open. Like, watch. So, Roethlisberger takes a snap. He does take this check down. But now you see Corey Littleton, who he is not the guy in charge of covering the flat. He's the guy in charge of covering one zone further up. Uh, the flat being sort of outside the numbers. Uh, Littleton's kind of uh, around uh, the hash marks to the numbers. Not quite exactly, but around there is where Littleton is in charge of covering. Uh, and he reads this play, though, and says, hey, I'm the closest guy to the receiver. I'm going to go over and make the play. So because of that little head start when the ball before the ball was even thrown there, he runs over, helps make a good play. That's just good stuff. Uh, from Corey Littleton, who, uh, again, it's been a mess since he's been with the Raiders, but at least there's some flashes. The linebackers are playing better. So that's, that stuff is just, just all nice to see. So yeah, I mean, just a, just a great performance from the Raiders' uh, secondary and the Raiders' defense as a whole. Not just their secondary, their run defense looks good. That's another aspect that uh, I wanted to bring up in this video is they can kind of get away with playing cover two a lot because their run defense is stopping the run well uh they're winning their matchups and even with you know having that one less guy are still able to you know do well in the, enough in the run defense game 
that they can afford having an extra safety deep and not have to pull him in. So that stuff is nice to see as well. So again, it's two games. You could easily sit here and say, and eh, the Steelers offense kind of anemic. Uh, the, Raver, the Ravens offense is good, but kind of a unique, weird offense. So how much does that translate week to week? But you know, we can sit here and say, okay, how good is it? I think that's a fair question to ask, but it's clearly much better than it was last year. That's, I think, clear. And if they just if they just had a mediocre defense last year, they're a playoff team, maybe even like a, like a Super Bowl contender. So uh, it'll be fun to see, and hopefully they can keep it going. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.